Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, what we're going to be doing is a makeup tutorial, and it's the first one for the holiday season. And yes, I'm so excited. Thanksgiving is like, what, two weeks away? Like, less than two weeks? Like a week and a half. I'm like ready for Christmas. So I thought I would do my first holiday inspired tutorial. Um, You guys can obviously wear this for Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's or anything. It is a little bit on the dramatic side. I wanted to do something that is like more or less like a going out or like um, a dressy like family dinner. A little bit more dramatic on the eyes, some glitter and a red lip. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this makeup look then just keep watching. Hey guys, so first we're going in with Peach Smoothie, and that is from Makeup Geek, and I've hit super pan on this. I just use this every single makeup tutorial, I know, but it is definitely a die-hard favorite. So I'm using this with a MAC 224, and we're just applying this in the crease, back and forth, back and forth, just making sure that we are coating everywhere, inner corner, outer corner, I mean, sometimes on the lid, and then we will blend it upwards. So I do have an eyebrow routine. If you guys have not seen that yet, I will leave it down below, because obviously... I'm going to be skipping that in this video because I've just filmed one. So then we're just blending this out. And now we're going to be taking Creme Brulee, and this is also from Makeup Geek. And I know the colors look really similar here on camera, but this one is definitely deeper, and you guys will see that. So I'm just kind of taking it and making, like, a nice gradient, and I'm using a MAC 217 just because it helps kind of focus the color a little bit more, um precisely than just applying it with a fluffy brush. And I'm just using this for a little bit of depth, and we're going to be applying the same way back and forth, inner corner to outer corner. I want to make sure we're coating everywhere, and I want this to blend out seamlessly. So now we're just taking a little bit of peach smoothie and the 224 and making sure that everything is nice and blended and looks very flowing because I don't want it to be obviously like two different colors. So now we're going to be taking Cherry Cola, which is a new Makeup Geek matte shadow. It's really similar to the color Bitten, except I think it's a little bit deeper and a little bit on like the purple side. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I'm taking this on a small pencil brush and I'm going to kind of be like cutting the crease a little bit. I'm just going to be dragging this just sloppily all the way into my inner corner. And then we're going to just be blending this out with the MAC 217. And I'm just adding a little bit of that cherry cola on here because I want to make sure that this blends out really nicely because it is kind of like such a deep color compared to the two other colors that we applied. I don't want it to be such like a harsh line. You guys feel me? So I'm taking a little bit more of that Cherry Cola and just kind of running over where the color meets the other color. So Cherry Cola and Creme Brulee meet. So then we're going to take the 224 and just take a little bit more of that Peach Smoothie and blend that out for the gods. So now we're going to be taking Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in the untamed in untamed <laughs> and i love this um foiled shadow it's so pretty it's such like a mustardy gold color um and i'm applying this just with this flat shader brush and this one is from urban decay which is my favorite you guys know it's really similar to the mac i don't know what number that is i always talk about it but i'm using this one today so i'm just kind of like really cutting the crease i want to make sure that i'm applying this all over the lid i don't want um any of my lid to be showing i want it to be like when my eyes are open i want you to just see like gold and then like red burgundy so we're going to be just blending out that harsh line that you guys see because i didn't really want to cut crease even though it was a beautiful cut crease it's just not what i wanted so now we're taking fix plus and the brush and we're just going to be patting on untamed so i wanted to give it that like super like metallic -y look because i feel like it's kind of like blah without any like water or anything or any fix plus to kind of like give it that super metallic -y finish you guys should see the difference that it makes and then we're just blending out the harsh line between the shadows so now we're taking a little bit of this nyx liquid glitter and this is in the color gold and i'm just applying this just for a little bit of dimension i feel like it was just kind of like Eh, and I wasn't feeling it, and then I just applied a little bit of this gold glitter, like, kind of, like, all over the lid, and it just kind of gave, like, some dimension because it's, like, a lighter gold and then the yellowy gold. You guys feel me? So now we're going to be doing liner, and I'm using Max Black Track Liner, and I'm taking the Sigma brush. I'll leave the brush down below that I'm using, but it's my absolute favorite liner brush. It just helps get things super, super precise, and I really love this gel liner. I just feel like it's super black. I have to go over it a couple times to, like, get it to be this black, but I feel like it is really black. It's matte, and it stays all 
day. So I'm just coating this inner corner, and I like to do it with my eyes open so that I can see what the liner is going to look like. So that is like my little trick for you guys. Um, if you're going to be applying liner, it's hard when you do it with your eyes closed because it could be too thick and all that. So if I apply it with my eyes open, I know exactly what it's going to look like, and I know exactly what I have to like clean up. So see how, how I'm just taking it and I'm just making sure that the line is super, super smooth and I'm going over it just because I want to make sure that it is super black and sometimes it's hard to go over the glitter with gel. So now we're going to be taking Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and we're going to be applying this in my T-zone and I'm just going to be pushing this into my pores because I literally have the most ginormous pores in the whole entire world, but what are you going to do about it? So now I'm taking the NARS Sheer Matte and the Ma Maybelline Matte Foundation, and I'm using this Lancome like liquid um, illuminator because I wanted super glowy skin today. I don't know why. I'm super oily, but I was really feeling some like dewy skin, and I'm taking my Beauty Blender, and I'm just pressing this into my skin, and I love these two foundations, and I love them even more mixed. So the color that I am in the Sheer Matte, which I don't think that they sell anymore, which is Super sad because it's, like, such a nice foundation. I'm in the color Doville, and in the Maybelline, I'm in the color 110. These are both super matte foundations, so I'm just making sure to take the damn Beauty Blender. It makes it so it doesn't, like, crease up or get really dry because of the moisture in the Beauty Blender. It just helps blend it a lot easier. So now I'm going to be taking Bare Minerals Serum Concealer, and I am obsessed with this concealer, guys. Like, I am just, like... I don't know, it's like creaseless, it's like beautiful, and I think that it's creaseless because it is like a serum and it must have like skincare properties in it. I don't know much about it, so if you guys are curious, definitely look it up, but I am in love. Like, I feel like it's so beautiful, it wears so nicely throughout the day, it blends out so nicely. Do you guys see that? It just like looks so nice, and I used to crease all the time, but I used to use like really heavy coverage concealers. This one is like medium to full coverage concealer and like absolutely like, stunning. Like, I'm in love with it. So I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender, as always, because we want to make sure that it is seamless and doesn't have, like, a line of demarcation between our concealer and our foundation. And now I'm just going to be setting it with the Maybelline Translucent Powder, and I'm not baking today, um, just because I feel like it's really unnecessary to do it every single time. So I'm just going to be setting it um, and making sure that it doesn't go anywhere, because I always have to set my concealer and my foundation. If I don't, it will literally slip right off of my skin, and I know some people with dry skin are able to, like, not set their foundation and look, like, really glowy and stuff, but, like, it, what I mean, it literally will slide right off my skin. Like, I swear to God, I could have, like, a sheet mask of foundation. So I'm just setting my whole entire face with this uh, same trends as a powder and just a fluffy brush. So now I'm going to be contouring and you guys know the drill with this. We're using Fawn and Java from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, the powder one in light. And I just love this. I feel like I have yet to find anything that works just as good. And I know that the contouring trend has been like a thing, but I, I don't know. Like I just can't find anything that I like better than this powder contour kit. And it blends out so nicely, and I'm really running out of the fawn shade, so I'm going to need to repurchase, or I'm going to need to find something else, just for now, just because I really feel like when I use the same products over, I feel like I'm not reviewing enough for you guys, and I just keep using the same products, so if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below, and now I'm going to be just, like, cutting my contour, not, like, baking, I'm just literally taking it and cleaning up the contour line. I love doing this. I feel like it's, like I said, it makes any makeup look just look super clean and, like, I don't know, I'm all about my makeup looks looking clean. So now I'm taking Warm Soul Blush by MAC, and this is the original formula. I know that they did update it, Samantha um, said it, um, and yeah, I like the old formula better. So now we're going to be taking the Anastasia Highlighter in Riviera, and I am packing this shit on. When I mean packing, like, I want to be glowing for the gods. Like, I want to look like I just have, like, dewy, dewy, wet skin. So I'm just going over this, and I love this highlight. It's so beautiful. It just looks like you are beaming. So I'm applying this on the top of the cheekbones and my nose. And then I do a little bit on the forehead, um, just because I want to be, like, glowing all around. You guys feel me? And now I'm, like, feeling myself as 
always. So now we're just going to be taking that Cherry Cola shade in a Sigma E21 brush, and we're going to be um, smoking out our lower lash line. And I'm taking this like three-fourths of the way in. I'm not taking it all the way in because I don't like that look of like a like a circular smoky eye. It just reminds me of like raccoon or panda eyes and like... I don't know, I just don't feel it. So now I'm taking this um, pencil brush and a little bit of the creme brulee, and I'm just going to be blending this cherry cola out. I want it to be super smoky, but I also want it to be like super dark at the lash line, because that's what's going to give us the dimension. And I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara for my lower lashes, and I have literally been obsessed. Like, I just feel like this separates them, and it gives them, it makes them look like super black, and it's everything. So now we're taking the liquid lipstick in Outlaw from Kat Von D., and I don't know what happened, like, with, like, my lipstick footage, but, like, half of it is missing, so you guys are going to see the majority of me putting the lipstick on, but you guys won't see, like, the final, like, look of it. So, yeah, so I'm just going to be outlining my Cupid's bow first, and I'm overdrawing my lips, I mean, a little bit. I just feel like overdrawing my lips is just so flattering, and I don't, like, want small lips, so I'm, like... The bigger the better, you feel me? So I'm just outlining them, and you don't want to take it too far away from your natural lip line, or it's going to look absolutely busted and crazy. So I'm just um, going from the inner corner and dragging it around. I feel like this is the easiest way that I have found to apply liquid lipstick, and yeah, that is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on my next one. Mwah! you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And if you guys did, leave this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The button is somewhere down there if you have not already. And I hope you guys are having like a wonderful holiday season. I know that I am and it's a little bit stressful, but I mean, tis the season. And yeah, that's all I have to say. And I will see you guys all in my next one.